So in this video, I'm going to show you the easiest way to build a website with Bluehost. We're going to use WordPress, which is an amazing piece of software, and we're going to go from the very start all the way to the very finish. You don't need to know any code, and you're going to be able to have an amazing looking website by the end of this video. So make sure to follow all of the steps, and by the end of this video, you're going to have a great website looking good and ready to go. And guys, I've got a gift for you for watching this tutorial. In the description box right below this video, I'm going to put a link where you can download 20 of the best WordPress themes totally for free. Now these WordPress templates or themes look incredible and with just one click, you can make your website look amazing. You don't need to know any coding to use these templates either and the best thing is they're totally free. Now I'm not going to keep this link up for long, so if you do want to access these themes, it'll be in the description box below right under this video. So let's get started building your website the easiest way possible. So if you want to have this amazing looking website by the end of this video, which is totally possible to do, it's important that you watch every part of this video and follow every step. If you do miss steps or you don't watch it the whole way through, you'll probably have errors and these will be really hard to fix and you might have to pay someone to fix them for you. So I'd highly recommend watching every second of this video because there are some really important steps in the middle to the end of this video, which will be critical to making sure that your website works perfectly. But if you do follow every step, you're gonna have an amazing looking website by the end of this video. You can totally do it. So what do you actually need to create a website? Well, there are a few different steps. The first thing is you need to have website hosting, which is a place where your website's actually located. Every website has a website host, like Bluehost or Dreamhost or HostGator. And I'll have links in the description box below to where you can get a really good discount on these. Next, you will need a domain name, something like www.yourwebsite.com or www.youtube.com. It's a place where people can actually go to get to your website. Now these normally cost around about 10 to $50 a year, but with the host that I recommend in the description box below, you'll be able to get these for free. And then you just need to install WordPress on your website and I'll show you exactly how to do it. It's super easy. It's literally just like one click and it'll be installed. So that's all you need to do. You need hosting, you need a domain name, and you need to install WordPress. And then once all that's done, we can get onto the fun part, which is designing your website and making it look awesome. For today, we're gonna to use Bluehost as our website host. So the first step is to click the link in the description box below right under this video, and that'll take you to Bluehost, where you can set up your website. That link's also pretty sweet because it gives you over a 50% discount on your hosting. So it's the best link to use. So once you've clicked that, we can get started creating your website. So let's now set up our WordPress hosting with Bluehost. And like I said before, that link in the description box below is pretty sweet because it gives you a free domain name and also a pretty big discount from $7.99 to $3.95. So to get started, we're gonna hit get started. And then you can choose the plan that you want. Honestly, for most people, you may as well just get the cheapest plan and save some money. It's only $3.95, which is really good value. The only other one I would recommend is this one here, which is called Plus, and this allows you to have unlimited websites, whereas the basic one only allows you to create one. But if you're only planning on creating one website, I'd probably go for this one. So let's do that one. Once you're ready, hit select. So I'm gonna search for something like Chris Winter. I know .com's taken, so I'll go for chriswinter.online. Then you can hit next. Great, that one's available. So what I'm gonna do now is put in my account information and then I'm gonna choose which plan I want. So the way it works with hosting is that it generally gets cheaper the longer that you stay with the hosting company. So you can see 36 months is $3.95 versus the 12 months, which is $5.95. Again, it's totally up to you which one you wanna have. If you know you're gonna have the website for longer than a year, probably best to go for the longer version and save some money. Or if you just wanna have the 12 month one, you can do that. That's what we'll do today. Now they're gonna try and upsell you on a few things here like domain privacy and code guard. You really don't need these, so deselect these if you want. Yes. And that'll save you a good $50. Then all you need to do is put in your card details and then we can agree to terms of service and now we can get onto the fun stuff, designing your website. Let's hit submit. Awesome, that's done. Now we can hit create your account. As you can see, we have our domain name here, which we registered before. Now we can create a password to log into Bluehost. And that's done, and then we can hit create. Great, now we can log in. So we'll log in with that password we just used. And then they're gonna ask you a few questions, but I highly recommend just skipping this. So we can go to the bottom and hit skip this step, and then hit skip this step, and then we will actually put a bit of information in here. So what do we wanna name our site? Something like Chris Winter's website, and my website, a tagline as well then you can say how comfortable you are, hit continue, and then they're gonna install WordPress for us. It's super simple. So WordPress is now installed. How easy was that? 
So all we need to do now is click on WordPress and this will take us to our WordPress dashboard where we can get started designing our website. So we're here at your WordPress dashboard now, and as you can see, it's a little bit cluttered. This is because hosting companies always add in all of this stuff that you don't really need. So what I would highly recommend you do is go to the left here where it says plugins and click this. And then what we're gonna do is delete these plugins. So we're gonna scroll down and then click this button and click here, hit deactivate and then apply. And then we're gonna hit this button again and click delete. What this is going to allow us to do is have a nice fresh start and it's not going to slow us down with this website uh, with all of these plugins that we don't really need. So once you're happy with that and you've done that, what we're going to do is hit dashboard. All right, so now we're getting on to the fun stuff. The next step is to simply install a plugin which will make a huge difference. So what we do is on our dashboard, go to plugins on the left here, click add new. Then we're going to search for the plugin called Astra. And the plugin is this one right here. It's the Astra Starter Templates. We'll click Install Now, and then we'll click Activate. Now with this step, what we've done is created a full library of different templates or themes which we can use for our website to make it look awesome. If we wanna take a look at which ones we wanna use, all you need to do is click See Library. And as you can see, we have a number of different pre-made templates for your website. So whatever you can think of, they've pretty much created it for you and you don't have to use any different coding, HTML, CSS, whatever to have this yourself. Now for this tutorial, I'm gonna show you just free themes because a lot of people don't really wanna pay for templates, but if you do wanna get a maybe a more advanced theme or something that will suit you, they also have premium themes. But let's keep this nice and cheap and we'll go to all and change it to free so we can see which ones we can choose from. Again, as you can see, there are still plenty of great WordPress themes, which are free from stores to personal sites, to business sites, uh, to blogs, pretty much anything that you want. I think for this website though, I wanna choose this theme here. It's called Mountain and it's one of my favorites. As you can see, it comes with a homepage, which looks really fantastic, but it's also got some custom templates for different pages like your about page, which has this nice grid here a services page, which is another way in which you can show off your information. And it's even got a contact page with a map. So the next step, we're now up to the next step. All you need to do is click import, import complete site and then click import. So it's as simple as that. Once it says it's imported successfully, you can click view site and you'll see that it's created a fantastic looking website already. It's got some dummy images and content here so you can change this super easy and I'll show you how to do that in a second. But rather than having to code this yourself, this has done a lot of the hard work for you. It's fully responsive so it means that it works really well on your mobile or an iPad and you can see it's got a lot of different sections here which we can really easily change. Now I think the first thing that we want to do uh, is to change some of the images and the content on the website. So one of the great things with this method of creating your WordPress website is that you can use a plugin called Elementor, which we've already installed when we did that installation. And you can go up here to edit with Elementor. And what this is gonna allow you to do is edit your website so easily. It's essentially like uh, using a Word document or using Facebook. All you need to do is hover your mouse over something Click here and you can change exactly what you want. So let's uh, create a website for an outdoor brand. Let's call it uh, outdoor apparel, something like that. And as you can see, it was super easy to change the text. I simply clicked on it and then changed it. But I think now what we wanna do first is change this background image and it's really simple to do this. So again, if you ever wanna get back to that Elementor edit panel, all you need to do is click here and then we can just click edit section and you can see that we have this image here in the style tab. So we'll click choose image and I've actually got some images that I can use here. So I'll just use this one right here. I'll drag it and it will upload the image ready for us to use. Once we're happy with it and it's uploaded, we can click insert media and you can see that we have this image right here in the background, which looks fantastic. So let's change these text right here now. So let's go to, we'll change this to welcome to outdoor apparel. And then let's do a little bit down here. We create amazing products 
for those who love to be outdoor. Something simple like that. We can even adjust these buttons really, really easily. So for example, if we wanted to change this services, just have to click this and we could say our products and maybe, oh, that's a little bit large. Let's just do products. And then maybe we can change this to our story. And as you can see, we now have a background. We've got our logo up here, which again, we can change really easily. We've got a menu system. We've got this large text and then we've got a nice button. Pretty simple, isn't it? As you can see, if we scroll down, we have this full website, which is just looking fantastic. And it's so easy to change different things like these images and the text. So again, as you would expect, all you need to do is hover over it and change. So let's say we could type in uh, products. Maybe we'll have here women's and maybe we'll have men's. Maybe that's something we'll do. And if we want to change these images behind, you just simply right click, click edit column like you would on a Word document or anything else like that. Then go to style again up the top, click choose image, and we can just drag it in again. So this one's outdoor. So let's get an outdoor photo. This one looks good. Drag it in, click insert media, and there's our products. Change the women's one. Let's do this one again, right click, click style, choose your image. Let's find a good women's photo. This one looks good. Click insert media. And in no time we are getting a website looking really, really good. And let's find men's. So let's do edit column, click style again. It's really simple once you get the hang of it. Click choose image. And let's drag this photo in. That's perfect for men's. And click insert media. Now, if you ever want to close this Elementor panel, all you need to do is click hide panel. And you can see a full preview of how your website's looking. As you can see, without any coding, HTML, JavaScript, CSS, you've got a really nice looking website with a hero image. You've got some squares here, which we could link to. And one thing that's really important, if we open up this panel again, is to click update, because this is essentially saving your website. If you don't do this and you click out, it's probably not gonna be there. So always make sure after you edit something, click update and it will be saved. So let's take a look at this website. So we can go to the URL. And as you can see, there it is. We've got our large image and again, this is completely responsive, which means we get this menu up here that comes down, it changes. We've got a nice uh, big hero image here. We've got our buttons. We changed this text without having to code anything. And then we've also got this nice grid here. I think we can also change this. Let's have a look at this. So again, we'll go back to Elementor, click on the panel and simply scroll down and you can change it by typing. So let's go to, uh, we make outdoor products for outdoor people. There you go, that's a good tagline. And of course you could add something here. Maybe we'll, uh, we'll type in uh, see our products, put a space there, click update and that's done. Now down here, we have a call to action area, which pretty much means you can write anything you want, but we also have a image here. Let's do something special with this. Let's go to edit section. Then we'll go to style. And why don't we add a background video here? That would be really cool. So you can either go to background type and click classic gradient or video. So let's find a video. We'll go to YouTube and let's find a video about outdoors. So maybe something like hiking. So we'll go here. This looks pretty good. We'll copy that URL and simply add the video link, click update and you'll see 
We'll change the time there a little bit. Let's go to 40 seconds in and 200 seconds out. Click update again. And you'll see that we have an amazing background video call to action. So if you look at the website here, you can see that not only do we have our products in that, we also have this call to action with a button which we could easily change. So let's change that to, let's say, uh, see our latest products. And then we could have in this contact form products and you could write whatever you want here. So we have a huge range of outdoor products. Click below to see those products. Isn't it amazing how quickly you can change these things? So again, we'll click update, go to our store and we'll see if that video worked. So we've got our large hero image, our grid, our little tagline here, which we added, our products link. And then look at that. As you go down, we have this fantastic, really eye-catching video. And we did this in about five minutes. Isn't that crazy? It's amazing what you can do with WordPress. It's just so easy. You just need someone to tell you how to do it. And I'm happy to help you to do that. So what have we got below here? We've got some images, like a gallery. What if we click on that? You can see that it actually opens them up larger. Let's see if we can change this. So again, let's go back home. We'll just refresh this for a second. Let's add some of those images. So we'll go down. There's our video again, and here are our images. So let's click on this. And you can see that this on the left here shows us an image gallery. So to change this, we click here. You could simply drag and drop these as well if you want, or we can click add to gallery. And you're kind of gonna be used to seeing this little uh, box here because this is similar to where we were before. So let's add some photos. Maybe I'll add this one and this one, or actually let's add some product photos. So we've got this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. Let's drag them in. We can drag them all in at one time and they'll just upload. It's as simple as that. Oops, looks like we've got a double on that so we can remove that one. Click add to gallery and let's remove these other photos that they previously had. So we have five new images here. Let's click insert gallery. And as simple as that, we have these photos here in our gallery. Let's add one more photo because it will make it look a little bit better. So again, we'll go back to this button, add to gallery, we'll drag one more in. Let's go here. Have we done the coffee cup? I don't remember. Let's, uh, let's add the hat. No, we'll add the tent. That looks good. Add to gallery, insert gallery, and look at this. If we click update now and take a look at our website, we'll refresh this, we now have a great gallery of our photos. And if we click on this, you can see that they're gonna be opened in a little light box with no coding done at all. Hey, why don't we add a title here? People might not know what this is. So again, super easy. We're gonna click up here on this little grid system and let's add a heading. How do we do this? Simple, we just drag heading right here and we can add a, our own heading. So some of our most popular products. Simple as that, just like a uh, Word document. I think this would look better if it was centered, so we can click center and we can change the size. That's a little bit big, a little bit small. I think we'll go back to H2. Let's click update, go back to our website and you can see as we go down now, we now have a heading and we have a great grid of our photos. So if you own a product or you're thinking about creating a company or a website like this, this is a great way of doing it. Isn't that amazing what you can do in just five steps? Of course, the last step is to add all of your content. Now I can't choose the content that you want, but it's really easy to do it. 
if we ever want to add any of the different content, all you need to do is go here and you can simply type, type away. You can either write here on the left or you can write on the website itself. We could write, uh, welcome to our store. We create some of the best products for people who love to go outside and be in nature. We are open 24 seven online and we would love for you to follow us on our social media pages as well. So for example, what we could do is change this button here to follow us on Facebook and simply change the link to your Facebook page. How easy is that? So if I go here now and then click on this link, it's going to take me to Facebook. Really super easy. Again, if we want to actually change some other pages and add that content, it's super easy as well. What do you reckon you do? Well, that's right. You'd go up to the page like about, you can click on it and then click edit with Elementor. And now you can see the element is loading. It's taken us to our about page and we can simply change it on the website live. So we could change this about to our story. That's a little bit nicer maybe. Have a little tagline. We were established in 1979 and we love the outdoors. And then of course you could write something down here. You can also change this little section here and add different sections as well. If you want to add a section, all you need to do is go up here on the top right and you can add different sections. So for example, you could add in a video. Let's just drag that in here. There you go. Simply like that. Click on there and then we can just add any video you want. So there were some of the steps you need to do. Get your hosting, install WordPress, add the Astra plugin and the theme, and then change your content. You can have so much fun doing this and it's actually really easy to get a website up and running in no time. Now, if you wanna go more in depth with me on creating a website, I've got so many tutorials on my, uh, on my channel. So I'd love for you to join me there as well. I've got some really in depth WordPress uh, tutorials, which will you know, go into it for maybe an hour or two and we can really get into all of the different pages, change your contact page, change your about us page, you know, really get into Elementor. But this video here was just to get you started in a few simple steps. So I really do hope you appreciate it. Make sure to uh, check out all of the links in the description box below. And there you go. And guys, I've got a gift for you for watching this tutorial. In the description box right below this video, I'm gonna put a link where you can download 20 of the best WordPress themes totally for free. Now these WordPress templates or themes look incredible. And with just one click, you can make your website look amazing. You don't need to know any coding to use these templates either. And the best thing is they're totally free. Now I'm not gonna keep this link up for long. So if you do wanna access these themes, it'll be in the description box below right under this video. So there you go guys, that was my easy way of building a WordPress website using Bluehost. Hopefully you're able to follow some of these steps and get a website up and running and looking great. Now, if you want a really in-depth uh, WordPress tutorial, I do have these on my channel as well. So you can go and have a look at there. They go a little bit longer, but they do go into every different kind of plugin and uh, theme features and things like that. So it might be worth having a look at as well. If you did enjoy this video, please do hit the thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe as well if you like this kind of content. And if you do wanna check out Bluehost, links will be in the description box below right under this video. You can go check them out and get your website up and running. Hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you next time. Good luck with your website.